Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting. And our topic today is Departmental Cost Allocation Direct Approach. We have two other approaches, step approach and, and reciprocal method. Uh, we also have videos about these other two approaches or two methods, uh, and they are in our video description. So Departmental Approach. Uh, departmental approach classifies manufacturing departments into production and service department. This approach involves three phases. It doesn't matter if we are talking about direct, step, or, or reciprocal. We have the same phases. One, trace all direct costs and allocate indirect costs to the production departments and service departments. Number two, Allocate the service department cost to the production departments. And number three, allocate production department cost to products. And this is the same as any other job costing, so we will not be focusing that. So let's go to our Excel file. And if you are a regular here, you already know that. If you are a new member, I want to let you know that all of our Excel files, they are free, and the link to download it is in our video description. Oh, so what do we have here? Two cost drivers, labor hours and machine hours. Because we have two untraced costs, indirect labor, our cost driver will be labor hours, and indirect materials, our uh, cost driver will be machine hours. So these are our hours and our total and our costs provided by the financial accounting department. So phase one, let's allocate these costs here, these untraced costs to all of our four departments. So direct labor hours, let's link it here. And our total is the sum. The easiest way to do that is working, instead of working with hours, working with percentage. So let's do it as percentage. 5,500 divided by 37.9 thousand. Let's fix this total. It is 14.51% of the total. Copy and paste. And then we have the 100% total. Let's do the same to machine hours. Machine hours here, let's link it because if we want to change the numbers, it's easier. So sum. And then the percentage, the same formula. Here, let's fix our total. And we have our 100%. And here, uh, the most common mistake. This total here, we are not decreasing it or increasing it. We are only allocating it. Okay, guys? So what do we have here? Phase two, let's... Uh, so phase one, yet. Let's allocate this cost here based on this percentage here to our four departments. So first, first of all, direct costs, they are already traced. And let's do our formulas here. And let's do our formulas here. Overhead costs, we have two. Indirect labor and indirect material. So indirect labor, 65, let's fix it, times our percentage for service one, percentage for service two, Production one, production two, 65. Let's color it the same 65 here. So, okay, we are only allo uh, allocating these number, so they are good. Indirect materials, the total 18, let's fix it, times the percentage. And here we copy and paste. And we have the same numbers again. Let's choose a blue one, blue one here. Okay, and total is the sum. Direct cost plus indirect labor plus indirect materials. Copy and paste. 
And here 152. It matches with our total here. And what is the direct method? We allocate both service departments to production department. We don't consider service uh, allocating to each other. We only allocated service to production. So this is our phase two, service one. 88% of our time of service one was for production one and 32 for production two. So let's sum it. 60%. That means that 40% is from service one to service two. We are not working with this allocation because this is the step method. And then let's do our total here, allocation in percentage per direct method. So 28 divided by our total here. So it is 47 and production two is 53. Because why do we do that? Because we need to have a 100% here. And then the allocation amount for service one, service one here times 47, service one here times 53, and then our total. And it must match. So let's do a gray one here, light gray one here. Service two, the same. We do the same here. So the sum is 80, so 20% 20 is from service service two to service one. We are not working with that as well. And allocation per direct method here, nine times 25. Whoa, sorry. 25 divided by 80. Let's fix it. 31, 68, our sum, 100. And now here, the allocation, nine point almost $10,000 times 31, almost $10,000 times 68. And let's sum it. We find the same number again. So here we are with the same number. Plus phase one allocation amount, phase one here for production one, 59, production two, 64 and our total for both production is 123 and total equal service one plus service two plus phase one 70 81 and our total here 152 again it matches with our 152 here our formula is combining our totals how do we know if this number is right? We do the sum, product one plus product two. It must match the same 150. Okay guys, so direct method is the easiest one. We allocate our untraced costs to our service and production departments, and then service departments to production department. And we have the same cost here. Now it is the same as your file. And then we have our $152,000 uh, costs, total costs. Okay, guys, so thank you so much. If you have questions or comments, leave it here or email me at jscarping.gmail.com. If this video is too fast, review it anytime you want. And please, guys, subscribe our channel like our video and also like our facebook page accounting hub okay guys have a very nice day and god bless you